jokes to the side, nigga, know that they ain't fucking with the flow I provide. Y'all. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the Sneaker Dungeon, y'all. I hope everybody's having a great day. Y'all already saw the video of the Bread 11s on foot. Now we're gonna jump into a shoe that I did not hit on, y'all. On Friday night when we was doing the live, I know you guys saw that I was on the wait list at Foot Locker and Champs for the Yeezrals. Now, they took me off the wait list and that shit didn't even update. Like, it just said, oh, you didn't confirm. Oh, you didn't confirm. Back to back on both apps. So on Saturday, yesterday we went out, I was able to go shopping at Finish Line, Champs, Foot Locker, and Shoe Palace to help get my partner pairs that he needed. And hey, bro hooked me up. Every time I bought something for him, I got the $20 coupon. And I mean, I ain't have to spend no money. And I was able to get my points up on the apps. So that's always love. So I appreciate that, Keon. Then we went into Champs. And when we went into Champs, I explained to them people. I was like, yo, man, look, what's up with your app, G? I did not get, I got off the wait list and I didn't get my shoe. So, buddy gave me like a little card and said, come back at three. I was like, look, bro, I'm up here now. I'm trying to get them things right now, bro. I got a lot of moving to do today. And it's gonna be packed out here in these malls. Bro was like, hold on one second, one second, sir, one second. He, he called over the other dude. Other dude came over there and he, they said something. Dude went to the back. Next thing I know, dude came back out with the box. Dude looked at me and said, you good? I said, bad. You already know. So we got the Yeezros from Champs, y'all. This is my first purchase at Champs. And I'm glad because I actually, I don't mess with Champs like that. But I'm $80 away now from having all the points on there so I can be a platinum member on there. But y'all already know, man, we gonna pull these things about the box. It's a weird smell. Yeezys don't have that Jordan smell, but I don't never really smell test approved the Yeezys, y'all. So we ain't gonna smell test approve these things, man. And we in there! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Y'all, I am super happy I was able to get these shoes. I'm gonna give you guys some natural light so you guys can check them out outside, as well as give you guys that dope on foot. So we gonna go in, we gonna knock that thing out, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these things. And let me know if you cut. So starting off with the box, you guys can see we have the regular Yeezy Boost 350 box. Now the official colorway is, it says Yiri, 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 you feel me? Size 11, this is my size. I always go true size, because as y'all know, I do not wear the inserts of the Yeezys inside of my shoe. So when you're taking a look at the shoe, you're looking at it and you're like, hey, this looks like a Glow 2.0. Honestly, it really does. It does look like a Glow 2.0 in my opinion. Only difference is it does not glow and you have that black hitting this shoe. Now, starting off with the bottom of the shoe, you guys can see we have that that nice vault colorway under there. You, of course, you can see the boost under there. Taking a look at it at the midsole area, you can see that boost going through there. I love that translucent type vault colorway mixed in with the shoe. Looking at the whole upper, you do have that black with that Volt Prime Net going all the way around the shoe. Still having that breathable area that we've been seeing on all the 350s recently. On the back of the shoe, on the heel tab, you see it has like a light orange type effect going around it, but you do have the pull tab back there. Volt colorway shoe strings as well on the shoe. Something that I would say is I wish that the shoe strings would have been a little bit more in tune or more in tone, should I say, color tone with the shoe because they could have did a whole lot better with that. The thing that throws me off is the fact that they put a white insole in the side of the shoe. Adidas Yeezy right there, of course, you guys see that. I'm surprised they just didn't put a Volt colorway for the inside of the shoe for the insole. Not that it really matters, but hey, just, just for shits and giggles, I would have put a Volt colorway in there. But there you have it. Nothing too crazy, nothing too shabby to talk about on the shoe other than it is just two solid colors. Yes, for that see-through area, it does kind of have like a tannish looking color right there, but 
all in all i'm digging this shoe i'm glad i was able to add this one to the collection wait this colorway right here does have that black so having that black does give it to wear i think it just makes the black jeans stick out more as well as you can wear light denim and everything like that you can even wear y'all y'all gonna see man when we do the on foot but yes man let me know if you guys pick these things up in the comment section below a lot of people said these sat at places but enjoyed the full detail review and on foot of the Yisrael, Yisrael, Yisrael. It's like saying Israel to me, but you saying Yisrael. I don't know where he, I wonder what the real concept of, of where he came up with this name for this shoe. But very dope, reminds you of the glow. Only difference is instead you do have that black up upper on there mixed in with that boat colorway. Very, very unique. I love these. I'm glad I was able to pick these up. I like 350 B2s and I said I was gonna stop, but I wanted different colors. This is a two-tone color Yeezy. You know what I mean? And like I said, didn't get the glows. I wish these had a glow, but hey, I picked them up. I'm able to have them in a collection. So if you picked them up, comment it down below. Let me know what you guys think about these things. Next week, we do have the Yishels, Yishel, Yichel. I don't even know how to pronounce them things, but they drop on Friday next week. I am definitely trying to secure that pair as well. Very unique Yeezys dropping to end off this year, y'all. But it is your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid. Check out the pictures at the end of the video. I love you guys, and I will catch you guys tomorrow in the next video. Yeti!